Hi, we continue on Boolean algebra. Remember in previous videos, in uh, particular in the first one, we verified, we find, uh, calculated these expressions. And you remember how we did that? For example, uh, we took a plus a negated. And we wanted to know, uh, to find out what's, what's that. Uh, and we said, let's uh, assume that a equals uh, 0. In this case, uh, this uh, expression will be 0 plus 1, which is 0 negated, which equals 1. And then we said, what if a equals 1? Then the whole expression would be 1 plus 0, that is also 1. And that's, that's how we knew that a plus a negated is 1. You should remember that. But that's actually a very useful uh, idea to put instead of variables all the possible values for them. And it could be used not only for this simple expression, but for more complex expression. Let's do the same thing. Let us verify the result uh, of expression for our first handy rule. Let's, let's do that. We have uh, x plus xy in which is equals to x. And now we will, instead of x and y, we will put all the possible uh, values. So what are these values? So let's make a small table. We have x and we have y. And the combination of all the values uh, it would be 0, 0, yes, then we could take uh, x equals 0 and uh, y 1. And then we can uh, flip around and say x equals 1 and y equals 0. And the last one will be when both variables will be 1. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, what would be x plus xy? Let's calculate that. If it's uh, 0, then it will be 0 plus 0 by 0, which is 0. Well, what if it's uh, 0, 1? Then it will be 0 plus 0 multiplied by 1, which is uh, also 0. If it's 1, 0, then uh, x equal to 1, 1, and y is 0 in the whole thing will equal to 1. If uh, x and y are both 1's, then the expression will be 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1. And the result is 1. And you can see, we did the same thing as here, and we were able to find out, we knew that already, but we were able to find out, or verify our expression already, that uh, that the result of this expression is the same as x. We knew that already, but uh, this Id idea of putting all the possible values and calculating all the possible output is called... What is it called? Truth tables. It's called truth tables. And that's very useful. And that's uh, some kind of an alternative uh, for calcul calculating this, simplifying this expression. And sometimes it's uh, more useful than uh, simplifying expressions. Sometimes it's much more useful. And what is also useful is a backward uh, motion, is uh, going from truth table to expression. But let's, let's uh, take another example, some uh, more complicated example. Let's take our second handy rule, second hand rule, and so it's uh, a plus b multiplied by a plus c, and this should be equal a plus b, c. And again, we make a small table. 
And what we have three va variables here. We have uh, A, and we have B, and we have C. And we have uh, these two expressions. And we want to find out if they are equal for all the possible uh, cases of A, B, C. So what could be the cases? It could be they all could be 0, they could be 0, 0, 1, uh, and etc. So we put all the possible combinations of these variables one after another. If you are confused about how uh, I make all this combination up, this uh, I will uh, I will tell you this a bit later if, if you are confused. But now let's let's just calculate stuff. So if all the variables are zero then obviously 0 plus, plus 0 multiplied by 0 plus 0 is 0. If C is uh, 1, everything else is 0, then uh, this guy will be 0, and something multiplied by 0 will be always 0. Next one, B is 1, everything else 0. Uh, in this case, this bracket will be 0, and the whole expression will be also 0. Uh, then uh, B, C are 1s. That means this bracket will be 1, and this bracket will be 1, and 1 by 1 is 1. Then the next one, we have a equals to 1, everything else 0. If a equals to 1, then this bracket will be 1, and this bracket will be 1, and the result will be also 1. a equals to 1, c equals to 1. Uh, in this case, yes, it, it will be the whole expression always is also equal to 1. Because if a equal to 1, uh, then these two brackets will be 1s in any cases for any b and c. That's how we, we can fill it up. You can see that if uh, a equals to 1, then for any cases, this bracket will be 1 and this one will also equal 1. Now let's take uh, this expression. Uh, 0 plus 0 by 0 is 0 then c equals to 1, uh, it will be still 0, because we multiply by 0. Uh, b equals to 1, the same case, it will be 1 multiplied by 0. Then b, c are 1s, so uh, this part will equal to 1, and the whole expression will be 1 plus 0, which is 1. Then uh, a equal to 1. In this case, uh, the whole expression will be equal to 1. Uh, because a is equal to 1. And for all the cases where a equal to 1, we can write down that the whole expression equals 1. Because if a equal to 1, then it's obvious, actually. And so what we see here is that uh, in for every combination, the results of these two expressions were always exactly the same. And that's how we uh, know that using truth tables. And uh, further playing with truth tables uh, will be next.